Hey Pony Pals, it's Emma from Pony Studios and today I have some show results for you from the Black River Falls uh, model horse show that we went to in Wisconsin um, probably about a month ago when this video comes, uh, comes up but I just haven't had the time to make a results video because I've been so busy and I've had commissions and school and so on and so forth and I could give you guys a whole bunch of excuses but here we go, let's do our results video for the Black River Falls show in Wisconsin. So first of all, we have this little custom that I painted recently. This is Cruella. And as you guys can see, she did take a second with a Nan card. And you guys probably saw her if you watched the um, How to Paint a Leopard Appaloosa video. Well, this is that little stone cutter chip all done. And she did super good at her first show. So I'm super excited. She is still for sale. Uh, $100 plus shipping, and you can actually see her little eyes. Her eyes are probably some of my favorites I've painted in a long time, so really, really proud of this horse. Ooh, camera. Okay. Moving on, we have another Appaloosa that you would have seen in that video, Spot Me. And his eyes I'm in love with too. He's gonna be super hard to let go, but this guy got a fourth in his Appaloosa class. Same one the little chip, cutter chip was in. He is also still for sale, he's 200. If you guys have any questions, you can uh, message me on Instagram or Facebook. All right, moving on. Next we have Zeddymore, um, another little custom I did. I believe I also took him to Stone Age Live this summer, so he's probably in that video. His mother is not painted yet. I have not had the time to um, actually do any sculpting on her, so for now this guy is not for sale and he won't be for sale until his mother gets done. Now this is Framed in Perfection. She's a custom that I actually bought. Um, I did not paint her myself. I bought her probably when I was like 11 years old at one of the first model horse shows I ever went to. And she is absolutely adorable. As, as you can see, I gotta do some little like touch up paint job on her tail there, it kinda got rubbed off. But she never fails me as a little Tennessee walking horse baby and I absolutely love her. Alright, and for those of you wondering how well the new Briarfest models show, uh, my Saffron, uh, as an Australian stock horse, took a first and then got the uh, section champion in the stock division. So this is Butter Rum, uh, named after a type of granite. I work in a kitchen shop part-time, so um, <laughs> some of my horses have some kitchen shoppy names. But yeah, I showed him as an Australian stock horse, and I'm super happy uh, with the result. And just, I love this guy a lot in general, and I was hoping that he would place so that I wouldn't have to sell him. So now I get to keep this guy, and I'm ecstatic. I just, I absolutely love him. I love him more than I thought I would. Moving on to Icicle, little Icicle Jr. Uh, named after uh, a DC Comics character, Young Justice character. He took first in his class, then got the Briar Pony Long Ears and Exotics section champion, and then he took overall reserve champion, overall Briar reserve champion, at the, at the show, which was super exciting because he doesn't typically get more than a second place. I don't know what it is. Um, I think some people just don't like placing bouncers but he's probably my favorite bouncer and my only bouncer currently until I get my custom done that I was planning on making. So there we go. Bouncers do win classes. Next up we have Mach 1. Little Mach 1. And he is absolutely adorable. He's another of my favorites. Um, he's one of the Premier Club stablemates from 2015 to go with the big set. So he took a third this weekend. And then his dad, Death Star, um, took a first as a Frisian sport horse and then was the Briar Warm Blood Sport uh, Reserve Champion. Now usually results for these two are flipped. The baby typically does better than um, he does, but I guess at this show it just goes to show you that judges um, have their own opinions as, as what makes the better horse. Our first Peter Stone for today, other than the little custom I did, uh, Megan, hello Megan, as a British riding pony. She took a first in her class, 
Um, this is another horse that I'm absolutely in love with and I picked her up for like 25 bucks at the Clarion one year at Briarfest and she has not let me down. For those of you who saw some of the Equilocity stuff, this is my trophy model from Stone Age Live. This is Wham Bam Thank You Ma'am. And she took a third in her part Arab class this, this past show. And still loving that little chestnut baby. Moving on, my most successful uh, drafter. <laughs> this is um, Pomplamoose, or as I call him, Salail. And he took a first in his class as an American cream draft. Now I've seen some people show him as a uh, Gypsy Vanner with mixed results. I typically get first or second with him if I show him as an American cream draft. Uh, sometimes uh, American creams, they are much lighter than this. That's why you have to have documentation with it. If you don't have documentation with it, it may not work because this guy is actually on the darker side of American cream drafts. So if you document it and say that, it does tend to work. And Whisper, 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 Whisper took a second in his class. Now, normally I will show a uh, Camarillo White as an other light because they have a lot of Morgan and Spanish influences. But um, this particular show wanted him in the stock division. So he got a second in other stock. And the briar love of my life, my absolute dream horse, um, Acadia or Paladin as I call him, my beautiful paladin. I showed him as an American warm blood for this time around. I have been showing him as a Swedish warm blood and he just so happened to place first in his class as an American warm blood. So I think I'm going to stick with that from now on. And my glossy prize model, Rachel Alexandra or Bleeding Hearts, took a second in her thoroughbred class, the lovely lady that she is. Oh, sorry about the shadow, guys. My, I have an overhead light right here, so it's a little bit tricky. Um, Loki, or Mischief Managed, as I like to call mine, I typically show as a Cell Francois. So um, he took a third in his um, Peter Stone, I believe it was uh, European Warm Blood or European Sport class. And another horse that I absolutely love to death. I'm so happy I snagged one when I did. He also places really well for me all the time. Another Briarfest horse, um, Indu. I I lucked out and got a glossy Indu, as you guys probably saw um, in our Briarfest videos, and as you can see now. And I show him as a Tricaner. I found a really nice reference photo that works incredibly well. And so he got a third in his class, the same class that Paladin over there was in actually. So I took a first and a third in that class with both of the same mold. Uh, just goes to show that some judges really, really like certain molds. Moving on to Cat Tracks. She got a fifth in her Spanish class. Um, Tim, or Red Robin, took a fifth in his custom part Arab class. Desiderio, or Sid, um, took a sixth place in his Spanish class. And then also, Bud, uh, Heavenly Body, or Bud, um, took a fifth in his Spanish class as well. Aaron, my uh, Rancion, who I show not as a Criollo like the package said, but a Maramana. It's an Italian light breed. If you guys have a horse on this mold that um, you're looking for a breed for, definitely try Maramana. It really works. I've had a lot of judges come up to me and be like, oh, I've never heard of that before. That's a really clever breed choice. So go ahead and try it. Give it a shot. It's pretty, it's, it works pretty well. And last but not least, we have Time for Pie, my paint your own from this year's uh, Mayfest down at the Stone uh, Country Fair. And he took a second in his part Arab National Show Horse class, which was super exciting because I love seeing things that I paint do well. It just, it really makes me feel great. So there you have it, Pony Pals. Those are my results from the uh, Jackson County show, the 4-H model horse show that we went to in early October. Sorry about the delay on this, but things have just been really, really hectic around here lately. And you know, it's, I 
I'm a full-time college student. I work this business part-time and then I work part-time elsewhere. So things get really, really busy around this time of year, especially because now we're filling orders for Christmas and everything. So hopefully I'll have another video up for you with the results from Stone's Little Horse Show, maybe some photography stuff. And we've been playing a lot of Star Stable lately, my mom and I have. So some fun stuff there is coming for you too. But in the meantime, Pony Pals, thanks for watching. Don't forget to give this video a like. If you like the content, subscribe to us if you want to see more, and I will see you in the next video. Bye!